Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, today our topic is very nice and uh, all, of us, all of us we will like it for sure. All of us we dream that we can change anything around us. Uh, but in this case we are talking about changing wives, their size, their look, their color. Hmm. Uh, before we start, I saw some Muslims making a challenge. I mean, all Muslims, they challenge me, by the way, and some Muslims, they say uh, they post videos for me. But how come nobody dare to call me? I have my Skype open. Just to show you that those who claim they can debate me or they challenge me, they are potatoes. Because you don't challenge a person by saying, talking to yourself. I mean, this guy, you go almost every day live on air, and he say he want to call me. And then you challenge him after he go uh, to sleep. So my Skype is open right now. Who want to call me? Is my internet bad? I hope not. I see a bad internet here. Oh boy. Okay. It's all right. We are back on air. Um, you know, uh, I forgot to say inshallah, you know, so now and the internet is fine. So everything is good. Uh, I hope uh, if you have any any time you have difficulty, just refresh the page and things will be fine. So uh, uh, any Muslim want to call me before we start from those heroes? Just text me. Just text me. Say I am a Muslim. I want to call you and I will have the pleasure to call you immediately. It doesn't matter how big you are, actually, and the bigger you are, the better for me. And actually, I notice the bigger they are, the bigger they run. Did you notice that? The bigger they are, those who claim they can refute me, they never call me, not even once. The one who call me is the one who have no career to lose. You know what I mean? Is somebody who's no one. Uh, why? Because we debated some big shakes and we made them big shish kebab and then since then, you know, everybody fleeing. So now I will hang up, I will go to sleep and then they will say, Tell your some friends, we challenge you. You are a coward. My Skype is on. I will leave my Skype on for now, hoping that we will find a Muslim who is going or willing uh, to call us and tell us something good about Allah. Today our topic is about how Muslims and what Muslims believe. I mean, what, what Islam is about really. You see, Islam is a book, uh, Quran is a book of science. I mean, this is scientific what we will see today. It's uh, somehow, it's like a future science, you know. Like you, uh, Allah, when you send you to heaven, he will give you women the function uh, in, a, in a virtual way. Uh, but they are physical, you know, they, are, they have meat, they have uh, flesh. They have a blood, but you can change their color. And actually, uh, the Muslim they compare women to iPhone. I am Muslim, and I would like to call you. Oh no, I don't do email discussion. I mean, what is it? I remember there, uh, there is once there was a guy. His name Doctor Tahruni. Doctor Tahruni, he said, any Christian have a question? So I enter a chat room of Doctor Tahruni, and I put my hand up. He said, oh, we have a. Uh, Christian here uh, okay uh, go ahead uh, you know he gave me the microphone so we said to him do you accept the challenge and debate me he said sure 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 and then the Muslim in the chat room they start saying to him brother no brother no brother this is a Christian Prince brother no brother and then we heard the mic his mic is open this guy is texting receiving messages private messages and then he said uh, the brothers they, uh, they advise me to debate you only by email and here we go, our friend here is texting me, saying, can we have a, a email discussion? If there is any Muslim would like to call me. Brother, brother, this is a Christian prince, brother. And I, this brother, he had no idea. This is the first time he's seen me, you know. So the Muslim, they warn him. And then he says, okay, that he will follow the advice of the the... the the brothers, they said to me, uh, I should not debate you. And if you have a question, you can send me by email and I will answer you. So do we have any brother would like to call me before we start?
Anyone? All right, anyway, our Skype is open for any Muslim. All you Muslims can text me, please. And let us go to the topic. If you have an iPhone 6, and then you are so proud of it, and then suddenly somebody next to you, he have iPhone 7. A Muslim cleric explained to us exactly how it feels is nothing is that if you have the best of something within a minute you see something that you might now think is better suddenly yours is nothing it's happening you have the latest mobile phone it's the best ever mobile phone they can call it an iPhone 6 the one that just came out yesterday <laughs> and what happens you will have it and you hold it and you're so excited and the guy next to you has an iPhone 7 and you just put yours in your pocket <laughs> and you're looking at the other one and saying that cannot that cannot happen in the heaven of Allah you will not put your wife in the pocket we are talking about wives in heaven guys the Muslim comparing between wives in heaven to iPhone 6 and 7 Any Muslim have a comment? Our wives in heaven are compared to i6, phone 6, and phone 7. In heaven, my friend, you will not be ashamed of your iPhone 6 because somebody have iPhone 7. Even in paradise, no, because your own spouse, for example, will be changing as per the sweetness of your eye and its liking, subhanAllah. So you want tall, it suddenly becomes tall short, it suddenly goes short, Allahu Akbar. You know why? This way, that way, this color, that color. It's like, you know, changing with the, a flick, not even a flick. He is talking about women, human beings. Women in heaven, they will change as you wish. You want to make them fat, they will get fat. You want to make them skinny, they get skinny. You want them short, they will get short. You want them taller, they will get taller, as you wish. Women in heaven in Islam, they are made as an entertainment toy. And those women, you have full control of their feature. And one of their most important feature, you can change the look of those women by a click. Actually, less than a click. You want her fat? Huh? She will get fat. How many kilo? Shorter? Taller? What do you want? Very easy. your pockets <laughs> and you're looking at the other and saying that cannot happen in paradise no because your own spouse for example will be changing as per the sweetness of your eye and its liking subhanallah so you want tall it suddenly becomes tall short it suddenly goes short allahu akbar you know why this way that way this color that color it's like you know changing with the, a flick not even a flick sometimes you have uh, these apps that you get on your computers where you want to change something and you try 10 different, you know, uh, say for example, I'm just going to throw an example, a motor vehicle you want to purchase and they tell you what color would you like and they show you 10 different colors and you're clicking to see what it looks like. Click another color, click a third color, click. That click may happen such that your eye automatically chooses the color of the spouse, how it is liking it. And Can you believe? Can you believe? that there's a billion human beings and more believe in such a garbage that Allah will place women in front of you and you change their color as you wish. I mean, if I say that to you, you will say Christian prince is lying. You know, the Muslim, they say Christian prince is lying, no? But everything we, show, we, we say, we show. Either videotape or uh, we, we show a threatening. All those people who say to you, anyone who speak against Islam, they call him Islamophobia. But those stupid people who use the word Islamophobia do not know that the one who have a phobia is Muslims. They have a phobia from the cross. They have a phobia from you as an atheist. They have a phobia from you as a gay or lesbian. They have a phobia from the cheese, if it is not halal. They have a phobia from the meat, it's not halal. They have a phobia from, from anything, you know, I mean, elevator, a festival, music, anything, they have a phobia from it. 
not us who have a phobia. And on top of that, they are teaching their children in your country, in your Western country, in Islamic schools, that why we are dirty pigs and why they are better because they will get women who can change their size and their color. And this is why those people, they join ISIS because of the brainwashing machine. Look at those people, they are sitting and just laughing and enjoying this conversation. None of them, you know, wonder, are you stupid or what? Not a single one, he said to this guy, are you stupid? Are you crazy? What's wrong with you? What is this? Who in the world would believe that we are going to go to heaven and this God, he will provide us women, like as if he is a pimp, and then we, you know, like we change their color and their size. Same time as a moment progresses and the eye finds it sweeter to have a different color, it happens that way. And something described that is even better and more mind-boggling to show you that it cannot have crossed your head in the proper sense. All this we are saying, bearing in mind that in reality what we are going to have is far better than whatever we are describing here. Imagine. So what we are saying, mashallah, it's something. Remember, we've heard of how, to, how important it is to work towards this. Because what's the point of talking about this? When we are distant from it, you know? <laughs> distance from it? <laughs> I will shave my 20 foot arm beers if my beard is, if you can go there, my friend. What, what the point of talking about it if you are far from it? Uh, the point is to fool those people. This is the point. The point is how we can. What they call it in English, what is the word, hepatize? I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if the correct uh, uh, pronunciation, excuse my English. This is drugs. All those men sitting there dreaming about this, wow, we can change the size of their breast, wow. Even the Quran speaks about the size of the women's breast, do you believe it? A God, he is telling us what, how big the women's breast will be. And brother, we have to work to get this. We have to work. Like, what exactly we need to do? Join uh, Azerbaijan so we can kill the Armenian, brother. We can kill them all. It's not enough we kill a million and a half of them. Let us go and finish them all. In order to go to paradise, you have to do some work, brother. Okay, what is that? So you join Mujahideen in Afghanistan, in Syria, in Iraq, brother, in Sudan, in Egypt, brother. In Somalia, in Nigeria. Brother, to go to heaven, you have to do what the Prophet said. Build them whatever you find them, brother. This is this is the places where the the, the nest of terrorism. This is where it start. They brainwash them. They say to them, "What are you worried about? Go and die, my friend. Go and get this. Don't you want to get this? Why you want to live in this earth?" One narration says, "Whoever has drunk the wines of this world, you know the alcoholics, the khumur that you have, will not be drinking that in the akhirah, which is prepared." So in the heaven there is rivers of wine, in the earth there is wine. So Allah says wine is bad in earth, but it's good in heaven. I mean, how, how, who's a stupid here? In fact, we showed you in the Quran where it says that wine is, is, is a miracle of Allah. And Allah is praising the, the, the wine. This is before the people they start laughing from Muhammad because all his followers are a bunch of, a, of a drunk people. If you do something here, you might not have it there. And yet Allah says, you will have whatever you desire. So some of the uh, ulama have explained very beautifully that the, the code of desire of that item is just removed. So you won't desire it. Subhanallah. Mm, subhanallah. See, we might have three million, four million desires. One code is removed. You won't feel that I'm not desiring this item, but you won't desire it because that little code is removed. <laughs> little code is removed. So, you know what he's saying to you? That you are a little toy. And there is a God, his name is Allah, he play with you. There's a code he will move from you. He control what desire you will go, so you will focus more in sex. There's many desires you have. In heaven of Islam, you will focus only in nipples, vagina, penises, food, gold, silver, boys. You did something in the dunya, you won't know, but others would know what it's like. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us goodness. So, whilst I look at something, say, say for example, a spouse, may Allah grant us the whole. Amen. It wasn't loud enough, my brother. It wasn't loud. 
It's not allowed, my brother. If somebody says, I mean, it's not allowed. You have, to, you have to say loud, man. Don't you want to get the spouses you're talking about? Like, come on. Say it out louder. <laughs> Look how many of them. He said, may Allah grant us the whore, the virgin, the one who their private part never been touched. And each time you touch it, by the way, Allah will make it virgin again, which means cheating. Remember, there are no sisters today. Don't worry. <laughs> Remember, we have no sister around here today, so we can say whatever we want. You see, I mean, this is a filthy conversation. This is dirty. This is this is an Islamic classroom, as it is. This is not meant to be broadcasted online, by the way. This is a teaching private class in the mosque. There is no sister here. So let us have fun. So, whilst we would like to look, for example, at her, at with a specific, for example, shape, you know, the, the words described are so, so powerful that we feel shy sometimes to say, you know, the entire detail because brothers might... <laughs> Did he say we feel shy to say? <laughs> Did he say we feel shy to say the exact details? Why? I mean, if you're a prophet said it, Allah said it, why, why you are shy to say it? You are better than Allah? Can you believe it? He is not going to mention the exact details because exact details will talk about description of the vagina, how big the penis, your penis will be English. He's shy to say that, oh, a Christian prince will say it to you. Your wife in the heaven, her ass will be one mile. You will be 90 mile tall, your wife will be 30 mile tall. And your penis is in this, which is very stupid. I mean, look, your wife is next to you, but your penis is, is, is passing the galaxy number seven, Star Wars. So how you want to have sex with your wife? You make a U-turn? Or you send her there? That we feel shy sometimes to say, you know, the entire detail, because brothers might say, you yeah, know, tonight I won't sleep, brother. <laughs> <laughs> See? You will not sleep. If you know Islam, you will not sleep. You will be horny. We are talking about God here. When you talk about God in Christianity, you see, remember uh, the, that when he said, do you remember the Song of Song? This is not a book of God, this is porn. Song of Song is a king describing Jerusalem, you filthy coward. It's not even God. This is a king making a poetry. That's why it's called Song of Song. It's a song. But this is your God. There he is describing a, a, a city. Have you ever heard of a woman, she have a grass in her chest? Trees? But later they found that Muhammad din, dim, 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 in the Song of Songs, suddenly Song of Songs became holy. <laughs> Muhammad in the Song of Songs. The Song of Songs was a joke for them for a century. And then when the dad himself, he was making fun of it in many debate. Suddenly somebody told him, there's Muhammad din, dim, 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 dim. Suddenly Song of Songs became holy for the Muhammadan. You know, Allah says, Uruban atraban. Allah says, Kawaiba atraban. These words have deep meaning. Sometimes, if you were to read the Arabic language in depth, you would actually blush while reading the meanings. You know, subhanallah. Describing the movement. Why, why, why did he not tell us what Kawaiba atraban? Do you know what he's talking about? He's talking about women or females who are very young. And their breasts are so firm and coming up so strong. And their breasts are so huge. He said, we, we will not mention the exact details. You would actually blush while reading the meanings, you know, subhanallah. Describing the movement during a sexual act. Describing the movement, for oh, there is a word. Describing the movement during the sexual act. Allah describe you, describe to you how you do boom boom. Literally. Where in the Quran? I'm not saying that. He's saying that Muslims. Don't tell me you're a Muslim prince, you're lying. Here we go. Listen carefully. Arabic language in depth, you would actually blush while reading the meanings. You know, subhanAllah. Describing the movement during a sexual act. Describing the movement, Quran, there is a word, subhanAllah. Describing the perfect shape, subhanAllah. Yeah. 
describing elasticity. Perfect shape. Shape of what? Sexual organs. The perfect shape of sexual organs. We are talking about sex now. Perfect. The, the describing how you do boom boom. Muhammad he said dahman dahman, which means you push so hard. And even the angel, he will come to you and he will say, Can you stop with this woman because this is too much for her? Take the second one. And Muhammad he promised them each one of them he would have the power of forty men. And Muhammad would have a hundred men of the forty, which means four thousand men power for sex. This is Islam. Imagine if we have a conversation like this in a church. <laughs> and the funny, the Muslim, they say Islam is religion of modesty. This is modesty. We have Jesus who said things which extremely hard for men to practice, but because he wants us to be in the highest standard we can. Be holy like your father. You will not be holy, but be holy. It's a project to work in. Muhammad, he wants you to be holy like you're the devil father. This is the holiness of Islam. This is a most teaching. This is not a porn station. Elasticity. This is something very, very deep. Allahu Akbar. Very deep. Allahu Akbar. You and I know that the virginity of a woman is connected to a hymen here, here, physically, so to speak. Whereas... Can you believe it, man? I mean, can you believe that this is a religious conversation and people who believe in God? Here, 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 he's pointing his hand down his legs. What what you want to tell us? Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. You and I know that the virginity of a woman is connected to a hymen here, here, physically, so to speak. Physically. Whereas it would be such that Allahu Akbar, I hope everyone here is married, Ya Mashaya. Allahu Akbar. It would be such that every single time a person would be in that pure act you know it is not an impure act as is it's not an impure brother it's not a pure he's talking about the f word and this is not impure he is telling you about the pleasure you will have when you open that thing this is a pure act brother what it's called amen Every single time a person would be in that pure act, you know, it is not an impure act as is considered here in the dunya where you need a bath thereafter. See, in heaven, it's not a, it, it's a, it's a, it's a good act, in earth, in earth is not. <laughs> oh boy. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, you and I know that the virginity of a woman is connected to a hymen here, here, physically, here, so to here. speak. Uh -huh. Whereas, it would be such that, Allahu Akbar, I hope everyone here is married. You know, you know when somebody is dirty, filthy, you, you, see, you see their faces? Do you see their face? Do you see how his face changed when he's talking? You can imagine the smell of the room now. You know, how many of those men are getting horny? horny? You know, we're talking about hymen, Opening the hymen, the window intercourse, big boobs, huh? huh? And by the way, because it's recorded, he's trying to be polite. Because it's recorded. Uh huh. So what if it is not recorded? <laughs> it would be such that every single time a person would be in that pure act you know it is not an impure act as is considered here in the dunya <laughs> where you need a bath thereafter there subhanallah it is described as so fulfilling let's stop there inshallah so fulfilling <laughs> you know
know, you might be looking at me and saying, well, why is it not fulfilling here? Subhanallah. The reality is so fulfilling that it is mind-boggling beyond your imagination. In the He's talking about orgasm. The sexual act and the orgasm. Do you know, guys, how long it, it takes for a Muslim to have orgasm in heaven? 70 years. Each orgasm. He's talking about mind-blowing orgasm. Fulfilling here, subhanAllah. The reality is so fulfilling that it is mind-boggling beyond your imagination. In the dunya, you won't get absolutely what you like, how you like, and so on. No, you may have the most beautiful, you know, uh, wife, alhamdulillah. If she has worked together with you to earn paradise by the will of Allah, if you are together, Allah knows you may be having one another by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But at the same time, we need to make sure we work towards it. You will have something absolutely perfect. And say, for example, if there is a color or a shape or a size that you would like to see your spouse in, you will suddenly find your spouse with exactly your speck in your mind. And your spouse, if your spouse would like to be a, a specific speck for your spouse, he or she will be, meaning speaking to the, the sisters or the brothers, will be exactly as they would like to be. So one thing, but appearing as two different shapes to two different people. <laughs> Actually, there's a video. Let me see if I can find it. I will stop this one for a second. There's a video because I want you to calculate with me how, how, uh, how many women we will get in heaven. This is for the bad Muslim, by the way. I mean, the bad Muslim, he will get very little number. But the good Muslim, he will get way more. Uh, let me see if I can find the video. Give me a second, please. Uh, All right. Um, okay. This guy here, he will explain to us something uh, with more details, but it's in Arabic, but there's a translation. I will take the banner down so you guys can read the translation. Give me a second. Let us put it here so we can make the translation clear for everybody. The ratio of the video is an old ratio, so let us see. Listen carefully, this Muslim Abdul here, uh, a cleric from Saudi Arabia, he is going to explain to you exactly how many women you are going to do doom, boom, boom to them. ولكل امرأة من أهل الدنيا دخلت الجنة سبعين حورية فترتيب نساء الجنة أربعة أول شيء stupid there are three not four امرأة الدنيا هذه رقم واحد معها سبعين حورية so guys when you go to the heaven of Allah at least at least the lowest this is the lowest you will get two versions some hadith says the lowest is 72 versions. And each one of those versions, she have 70 maids. The version in her maids, you are going to do boom, boom to them. And then every woman who you bring with you from the earth, she will have 70 maids too. And you will do boom, boom to her and to her maids too. Listen carefully. I don't know if the translation is clear for you. In English. ثاني شيء الحوري معها سبعين وصيفة الثالث الوصيفة ثلاثة نوع عفوا ثلاثة نوع النساء في الجنة ثلاثة نوع أزوج في الدنيا بزوجة فعندك واحدة زوجة زوجتك اللي في الدنيا ثم سبعين حورية معها حلالك ثم مع كل حورية سبعين وصيفة أصبح كم عندك من امرأة هذا قل واحد <laughs> you will have thousands of women as simple as that 
as simple as, as, as this. And what is what else? Let us say you have four wives. Each one will have seven, 70 version made. What is the number will be? Calculate the numbers. 4x7. So x70, not 7. <laughs> Did you see it? <laughs> in the, the 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 night you spend the, the the time you spend with each woman doing boom boom is seventy years. Can you can you read the translation? The period time you spend doing one woman. Excuse my language. I'm just talking about the filthy of Islam. If anyone don't like this uh, to hear this, just leave, please. Don't complain. The time you spend with the women before you finish your orgasm is 70 years. Some they say the orgasm alone is 70 years. By, the, by finishing doing boom boom, I don't, I don't want to use the F word, you know, say F, but well, anyway, who cares? This is how it is, I'm mean, ugly, right? We can't show the the filthy, the devil. By the time you finish ifing, the first one, 70 years, another version she will call you from higher above, which means. Why she is higher? Because she is more beautiful. And then she will say to you, don't you have time for me to do boom boom? And then you will start again the 70 years boom boom. And and Allah, he said, I am one of those versions who Allah said, from them you will have more. And I am one of the more. <laughs> uh, I don't want to make this video long. And the reason I did it, you know, we spoke about this in the morning. But I wanted to make a short video. So it's going to be easier for people to download and share. But let me finish the, the previous one. So you guys have an idea. How filthy, I mean... If somebody says to you Islam is a religion, this is not a religion. This is sex cult. This is not a religion. Be honest. Doesn't matter who you are. You are atheist, you are Buddha, you are whatever. You are a Muslim. This is sex cult. This is not a religion. You want to be something, she wants to be something, she is what she wants to be, and you are what you want to be. It it is to you what you would like it, and it is to her what she would like. Allahu Akbar. So there is no confusion. There is no, <laughs> there is no confusion. The same person, he will look in, di in different way in the same moment, but there's no confusion. So you look at your wife, you don't see her as she look like, you see her as you wish. <laughs> and there's no confusion. So let us say, I have a wife, she is, let us say, with my respect to everybody, let us say, she is a 600 a pound, her weight. She is big, she is six foot. I see her that she is 50 pounds. This is what he's saying. The same person, you see her as you wish, not as she is. If you don't, if not understand, I'll play it again. Like to be. So one thing find your spouse with exactly your speck in your mind and your spouse if your spouse would like to be a, a specific speck for your spouse he or she will be meaning speaking to the, the sisters or the brothers will be exactly as they would like to be so one thing but appearing as two different shapes to two different people you want to be something she wants to be something she is what she wants to be and you are what you want to be it 
It is to you what you would like it, and it is to her what she would like. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. So there is no confusion. No confusion. There is nothing that can happen that is to the dislike of any. Yeah, you know, she, there's no confusion. She looked like uh, Hillary Clinton. She is Hillary Clinton, but she looked like uh, 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 Michelle Obama or Obama. I mean, as you wish. There's no confusion, brother. Or you see, uh, you see uh, uh, Trump. He, you, you see him as Ivanka. There's no confusion. Like he's Trump, but you, you, but you, you see him as you want. <laughs> hey, Trump, how come you look like Ivanka? Oh, I'm not Ivanka, man. She's my daughter. <laughs> I'm really, true. This is true religion. Somebody's saying a short video of CP is two hours. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> I agree with you. But don't you like it? Be honest. The word dislike does not exist. I don't like... I mean, the word dislike does not exist, and we are changing their color and their size. If we, obviously, we, don't, we dislike them. Otherwise, why do we want to change their color? Why we change their size? The word brother, the word dislike does not exist. If so, if, if the word dislike in heaven is not exist, so why you are unhappy how Allah He made them? Isn't their look is how Allah made them? Why you as a Muslim you want to change the way Allah He made them? Are you saying the way Allah He made them is not perfect? So when you say the way the word dislike is not exist there, this is stupid because already you are changing their look. Why? Because you dislike it. What a stupid cult. I cannot know that does not exist, subhanAllah. So this is just some, it's just the beginning, the start of it. You know, the calf, the calves which are just underneath the, 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 the back of the knee, subhanAllah, described as the color of the tusk of an elephant, meaning ivory, subhanAllah. <laughs> but ivory of what nature? The purest. Your women, your women bones, huh? they are like ivory. What kind of ivory? Explain to us. Do you see what we are talking about? The color of the tusk of an elephant, meaning ivory, subhanAllah. But ivory of what nature? Mm -hmm. The purest almost see through we would say what do you mean you see cut the video they cut the video the cowards he said something is not you know they cut it off this is this is long video they cut it off you know all the dirty stuff is gone i wish i can get the real one uh, he said almost you see through he's lying muhammad he said they, you see through muhammad he said you see through if you go to the hadith let us go there just to get this uh, liar busted what almost you see through Almost you see through. Here we go. This is what he is describing here. That the women in heaven, she will be so beautiful. And the reason Muhammad talking about see through, because Islam is a racist cult. I have an obsession with white women. So they are so white to the point that you can see through. You know, if somebody is very white, you will notice you can see even uh, the, the blood vein. So Muhammad, he is promising those racist Arab who they have obsession with white women that they will not only be white, but they are so white to the point you will see through. Uh, I, I took a picture of my future wife, uh, you know, <clears throat> uh, when she went to the mall in the x-ray machine. And this is exactly how she will look like according to Allah Prophet. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. And here you can see what she have in her back too. This is Islam. So she have a very high quality bones and a flesh and you will be able to see through. I mean, who in the world don't like that? Let us, let us be honest. <laughs> uh, I mean, how far garbage can go? How far stupidity can go?
And this is God, and this is religion, and this is from God. And the one is talking is a prophet. No oh boy. Look like she is using the. <clears throat> okay. Well, I think she used the wrong. Uh, she, she, uh, this is she bought this machine some somewhere. I got, I'm not sure where she bought it. It's a wrong one. Look what happened. All right. So if we go back, he is describing to us that women they will be see-through creatures because they are so white. With the whole, if I can spend a few more minutes, the voice is according to your taste. How you would like... You can change the voice too, as you like. Not only the color, the size, the shape. You can change this, the voice, brother. You, they come with equi, 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 equizer, what they call it? <laughs> the voice of the Hura brother, they will be as you wish, brother, too. Not only their face, not only their look, not only their height, not only their color, brother. Even their voice will change as you wish. With the whole, if I can spend a few more minutes, the voice is according to your taste, how you would like it, you know? You have a voice, and this is why we say the voice of a woman is our fitness. And you know, at times, unless she speaks like a man. You know? <laughs> so. can, you, can you believe it? This is religion. Voice is a fitna. Fitna and I mean, temptation, uh, you know, like it causes trouble. So Muslim, they get in trouble by voice. Uh, I received sometime, once I received an email from a Muslim woman, she was so upset from me. And she said to me, uh, you know, Christian Prince, so what if your voice is so sexy? I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. That's what he's talking about. And you can tell a lot of hate in that email. <laughs> Fitna, in the sense that it's, it's sometimes so attractive that it can cause a sleepless night for a young and upcoming adolescent. Allahu Akbar. Maybe even adults. <laughs> But my brothers, you need to know that the voice is such, it is not just attractive, but it is according to what your senses consider. Hmm. Not only attractive, according to your senses consider. The most highly attractive ever, subhanAllah. This is why when people say, will I be with my spouse in, you know, this woman who's been nagging me all along, is she going to be in paradise with me? Hey, you know, you're reducing the value of paradise. The reality is you don't know. So brother, brother, your wife who is in earth, she is ugly and she is big in you and you know, she have an ugly voice. No brother, in heaven you can change everything about her brother. You change her voice brother. You change her size of the, 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 her boobs brother. Her bum brother. Her feet, her toes, her nose, everything brother. She talk as you wish brother. She say word as you want brother. Her voice is as you like brother. Everything will change brother. She is just a sex toy. Allah will not See, work to get there. How we can now, how we can get there, let us attack the Jews, the Christians, let us take Hagia Sophia, let us take their churches, let us take their women, let us take Rome, let us take the, the White House, let us establish Islamic State, and this is how we can get there. You don't, never ever, because you have what me all along, is she gonna be in paradise with me? Hey, you know, you're reducing the value of paradise. The reality is you don't know. <laughs> Wait and get there. Work towards that. Allah will not let you down. Never ever. Because you have what you want. Whatever you want, you have it. It's yours. You if you remember once I was debating a Muslim and I said to him, the Quran promise you, you will have whatever you want. What if somebody, he want to have sex with a man? He said, so? In heaven, you can do that. He said, even you can have sex with your mother. You can have sex with your daughter. Because the Quran promise whatever you want. Whatever you want. Sex with kids. Anything you want, whatever you want. Enough. Now it's time for payment. You worked a lot. Now it's time for payment. And how is this payment? Wallahi, the sound, the scent, you know, the smell. Okay, we will stop here. Uh, we said we will make it short, but it's hard to make those videos short. Uh, before we finish. Tomorrow I will make a, I will go live and we will speak about what's happening in Armenia. Armenia is a country which I appreciate much.
I love the Armenian people. They are really, really uh, great people. And I'm not worried really about Armenia, even the faith Erdogan he is attacking, because I know that Armenians are heroes. They are real men. They are not cowards. You see, the Armenian, those who do not know Armenian, Armenian, they never back down. They never, never run away from war. They never coward. They never give up. They never give their land. Maybe they are a small nation, yes, but they are not coward. And I respect them. So tomorrow we will go live and we will speak about Armenia and what uh, 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 the filthy Erdogan trying to do. And why this is happening in Armenia. You see, there's a problem we as a Christians, you notice that Christians or Christian countries, uh, the devil divide us. We are not united. When Erdogan he took Hagia Sophia, where is the Christian countries? Those Orthodox countries, they've been controlled by the liberals of Europe. To make them join European Union, they destroy them. They make them, you know, like uh, numbers. Romania, Bulgaria, the American destroy Georgia, they destroy Ukraine. And now it is time for Armenia. But Armenia is a different story. So tomorrow we will talk about Armenia for those who like to speak about politics and war and why we should support always Armenian people. And I will love to support them in any way, in any way, if I can. So tomorrow we will be, this will be our topic for those who like to join us. And uh, we will go there. We pray for them, but the prayer is not enough only, my friend. Those who can help Armenian people, help them. I don't know what you can do. But those who help is the best of us, not just, the, you know, I mean, the one who can pray is the only, the, uh, let us say this is a, uh, uh, this is a uh, you know, little act to do compared to what we should do. If you are there, if you can support, support the Armenian. If you have connection, if you are in power, if you are in politics, if you are in the government, support the Armenian. They need your help. It's a small, tiny country. And the filthy Erdogan taking advantage. He killed those, the, the, the filthy Ottoman Empire killed more than a million and a half Armenian. And nobody talk about it. Nobody talk about it. And now he want to finish them all. So tomorrow we will be talking about it. And those who like to join us for free. Thank you very much for being here. Download the video as, as soon as we finish. This is the garbage of Muhammad. And as we say always, garbage in, garbage out. What do you expect? If this is Muhammad talking, boobs, sex, orgasm, 70 years orgasm, in this penis, women, butt is one mile. Changing the shape of the women, the color of the women, the size of the women. If this is God, so what is devil? And look at their faces, how much they are excited. And look at their fingers, the fingers of the witches, the fingers of the devil. Do you notice the, those fingers? I see the fingers of the devil talking. If this God, if this is God, then what is Satan? I mean, isn't it obvious a guy, he come to you, he says, I will give you women with big boobs, seven nipples, if you believe in me. Isn't it ob obvious that he is the devil? Isn't it obvious somebody promising you, you will have orgasm of 70 years? That he is the devil. I mean, have you ever heard of a holy God? He say filthy promises. If you ever have a birthday party, everybody bring you a gift. The gift to speak for the person. A filthy minded person, he will give you a porn CD. A religious decent man, he will give you a good book to learn from. The gift is still in you. Who is the gifter? If this is the gift of Allah, so who is Allah? As the Lord, the Messiah, our Savior said, from their fruits you shall know them. And the fruit of Allah and the fruit of Muhammad is nothing but penises and vagina and sperm and 70 years orgasm and women changing their shape and gold and silver. That is not God. That is the God of this earth, Mr. Devil. He changed his name between Allah, Muhammad, etc. But it's one person. Thank you very much for being here. 
all always to follow us to know where we're going to go live you can subscribe to patreon and you do not need to make a donation for sure we appreciate those who support us but it's our services for free absolutely for the poor before the rich for those who support and those who cannot support because i know that many they wish they can help but many they cannot do it that's why i'm giving my books for free tomorrow i will try to publish my book in a polish language uh, 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 when we speak about armenia or i might make a short video about it it's going to be in polish language it's for free and soon i will publish quran and science in in depth translated to russian language for free too all right and i have a good news we have a brother he is a translating my books into chinese and i cannot wait to get my hand on those books and we will publish it for free too so more than a billion chinese can get my books for free and i'm publishing for free not because i'm rich but because the lord he will reach me the lord he is our provider for free you took for free you gave god bless you and see you again soon this is your brother humbly christian prince was with you and Tomorrow morning, USA time, you will see the link updated soon. We will talk about Armenia and politics. God bless and take care.